Welcome back, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook, and tonight we're playing Mono Black Storm Combo in Legacy with a twist. We're going all the way back to 2006, and we're playing Iggy Pop, one of the original Storm decks of the format alongside the Epic Storm. But why is it called Iggy Pop? It's actually a pretty simple answer. The reason why, the card Ill-Gotten Gains from Urza Saga. It's a four mana sorcery, two and two black mana. When you cast it, you exile it. Return up to three cards from your graveyard to your hand. It does not target. You can just return up to. The original version of this deck played four copies of main deck Leyline of the Void. Pretty sweet. And the idea is that with two uh, copies of Lion's Eye Diamond plus an Infernal Tutor, you can loop Infernal Tutor with Ill-Gotten Gains all the way up to a lethal Tendrils of Agony. Well, if you have Threshold, you can actually just use Double Cabal Ritual as well, which is pretty solid. But in the year 2022, Tendrils of Agony has a flaw. It's black, meaning that it can't beat Veil of Summer. Well, we have a pretty crafty solution for that that doesn't involve Empty the Warrens or Ave Progenitor Ooze. I'm talking about Helm of Obedience. This card isn't black or blue. It can deck your opponent if you have a Ley Line of the Void, which is pretty interesting. So... The original Iggy Pop was a blue-black deck. It played Brainstorm and Intuition. This deck is so old that it was pre-Ponder. Yeah, I'm that old. And, well, I was brewing this together tonight, and I was like, well, we have Wishclaw Talisman. We're trying to fit all these cards in. And I got to the point where I was like, do I really need blue? Blue wasn't offering a whole lot. So I decided, let's make this deck a budget deck. I'm, I'm sure somebody just got really, really upset that I used budget with air quotes. Because this deck does have four copies of Lion's Eye Diamond in it. But we're not running any dual lands. And that's sort of what I mean by budget. We're not running underground seas for cyborg bounce spells. We're not running a bad lands to support and empty the warrens. Basic swamps are the only thing that's half for mana in this deck regarding our lands. So we do have some fetch lands still. That's to create cards for this wall ritual threshold. We also have Vrana Filth to help out with that a little bit. But for the most part, this deck list is budget outside of the Lion's Eye Diamonds. There's some things that are just so powerful you can't get away without them. So that's the idea behind this deck. We do have a Peer into the Abyss and not Ad Nauseam. Well, why is that? Well, this is really why. We have two copies of Tendrils, four Leyline of the Void, four of Gains, two Helm of Obedience. That's a whole lot of conver converted mana value there. So... Peer into the Abyss doesn't care about mana value, and you just get to draw half your deck, and it gives you this out to not being a graveyard-based deck, uh, and I think that's pretty good. In the sideboard, we have an extra copy of Helm of Obedience. This is sort of to beat Deafening Silence, because when you're in mono black, you don't really get a whole lot of good answers to enchantments. So you can board up on Dothy Voidwalker, and then board in the extra Helm and just deck your opponents. So why is this good? Well, we're a mono black combo deck. Most people are going to be boarding out their creature removal, and then you can just board into the Dothy. I did consider boarding into Dark Depths combo, but it's just so many slots. It's a lot of slots, and I decided that I'd rather try this. Maybe it's right to board into Dark Depths combo. I'm not sure. You can try it out. Massacre is also a card that gains a lot of value here. We can grab it with Wishclaw Talisman. We have five basic swamps. I think it's going to be solid. And then the rest of it's just like pretty obvious stuff. That's my deck tech. If you have any ideas, thoughts, or suggestions, whatever, those go down below in the comment section. Make sure to put those there. And uh, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the first round. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. All right, time for the first match. We are facing Faulted Form, who just took, I believe, second or third in a Legacy Challenge with Oops All Spells. We're playing a deck with four main deck copies of Leyline of the Void in it. They have been known to play other decks, and tonight they're playing a deck with 61 cards in it. I don't know if Oops All Spells want 61. It seems a little bit out there. 
but I feel like it's pretty free to mulligan into Ley Line of the Void in our deck. And here's the Ley Line. I think we keep this. Bottom of Wish Claw. Alright. Opponent going to 5. Put the Ley Line onto the table. Blue to Delta, pass the turn. The Lotus Petal, okay. Black mana for a dark ritual. Thoughtsy. Sure. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling this is like Hex Mage Dark Depths. Okay, it is Oops All Spells. Yeah, you're going to try to beat me down with Informers. Okay. You've got it. Draw. Okay, so let's fetch. Grab a Swamp. Fetch again. Infernal Tutor. Reveal this Cabal Ritual. Grab another. Pass the turn. We have four cards in Graveyard. They will get in with the Informer. We'll go to 16 life. Draw a card. Uh, we are just short of decking them. I mean, I guess I can get the Helm on the table. Helm of Obedience. Pass the turn. So you do have to spend one mana to activate the helm, or else it just does nothing. And our opponent has conceded the game! Yes. Okay. Love to see it. So here, let's board in our surgicals, our dothies. Probably want needle as well. Board out this defense grid. Probably afford to take up here into the abyss. Let's get rid of this Reign of Filth at 65. We have so many cards. Maybe we can board out in Ilgant Gains. Let's take out Duress, actually, because, like, their crucial spells aren't, um, like, they're all creatures, so I don't know how good Duress actually is. And that leaves us at 61. Board, out to board down to one Tendrils, maybe? Let's try this. Could board up a third Ley Line as well. My fear with that is if they have Force of Vigor, that ends up like hurting us quite a bit. But I guess we have Dothy. All right, let's go down to two Ilgain game. Let's try this out. Game number two versus Oops All Spells. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to keep this. They are a deck that plays Leyline, or I'm sorry, Force of Vigor, so they could easily have that here. Sure, Cabal Therapy. Are you wise enough to name Dark Ritual? I hope not. Infernal Tutor, swing and a miss. All right, so they can have Force of Vigor here to blow up my Ley Line. Just something I need to keep in the back of my head. Okay. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Wish Claw. Activate it. So I could get the Helm of Obedience here. I feel like that's a little bit of a trap. Um, I could also do a Gotten Gains, but if they have the Force of Vigor, I end up feeling very, very, very foolish. So I think I'm actually supposed to just get Dothy here because I believe, and I could be wrong, that Oops All Spells does not have an answer to it. Dothy Voidwalker. So that has hit the table. So I could play the Needle now, but I'm pretty sure that they just have a Force of Vigor, which is why they kept their hand. So if that was the case, maybe I wasn't supposed to play the Petals. I don't know. Mm, let's just play the Needle. Do I name Wishclaw or do I name Undercity Informer? Let's do Wishclaw. Pass the turn. Am I getting Force of Vigored? 
They hit. They left the ley line. Interesting. Okay. Just need mana now. Pass the turn. I have six cards, so land plus Cabal Ritual. All right, we're a Cabal Ritual away from victory. I have six cards. I, uh... There are eight life. So Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual both do it. Cabal Therapy, me. Sure. Still no Infernal Tutor. So I believe a land does it here. Uh, no, land doesn't do it. Land puts them to one. Draw. Pretty good. Let's cast it. Okay, so let's get rid of the spy. Um, How does it work if I cast the spy and target them? Do they deck? I believe they do. Sacrifice the Void Walker. Oh, it doesn't go to their graveyard. Oh, I just punted. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just gave up the W. I forgot that it doesn't actually go to the graveyard. So what happened is Ley Lines are a replacement effect. Those cards never hit the graveyard for the Dothy. And... I'm going to lose this game now. They're activating Wish Claw. They grab a land. Well, they might have drawn the land, actually. Summoner's Pact. Foundation Breaker. Okay. Did you draw another? They must have drawn another uh, creature here. Yeah. They must have drawn another. So now I'm just dead. Wow. All right. I mean, I played poorly. I deserve to lose. Let's see how they boarded, though. Um, Force of Vigor. Leyline of Sanctity. We actually have a really tough time beating Leyline of Sanctity. Okay. Hmm. So on the play, do I... Actually, I saw Leyline. Why, why would I board this in? Let's just submit this. It's fine. That was my game to lose, and I, I definitely played poorly. I'm on the play this time. Keep. They mulligan to six and then to five very, very quickly. Put the ley line on the table. They do not have a ley line of sanctity. Big fan of that. Swamp and Thoughtsy. Will you force a vigor the ley line? That's the question here, I suppose. They reveal the force of vigor. So I think we just take the force of vigor here. Pass the turn. They play the turn timber. Come on, swamp. Draw. I mean, it's not bad, but we need another mana. Thoughtseize again. They've drawn back-to-back -back copies of Force of Vigor. Holy moly. Okay, we need to take the Informer this time. Pass the turn. Land? All right, I'll take a Lotus Petal, I guess. Thoughty Voidwalker. Pass the turn. Draw. Let's get in there. Puts them to 17. Thoughtseize. They don't have a whole lot going on. I think it is take the Dark Ritual. Pass the turn. They drew their Black Source, so they can play Cabal Therapy now. Sure thing. Elm of Obedience. You got it. Good blind name. Draw. Lion's Eye Diamond. 
Get in there. Pass the turn. A Force of Vigor, you got it. Pitching another copy of Force of Vigor. Land number three. So we know that their hand is Simeon Spear Guide plus Summoner's Pact. Draw. Who needs lands anyway? Get in there. You have the mana. So they could Summoner's Pact here for the Foundation Breaker, but what's the point? I believe that win. Dark Ritual. Infernal Tutor. I'm sorry, Cabal Ritual. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. And our opponent concedes the game! How about that? The deck that only has 10 pieces of graveyard interaction beats Oops All Spells. Surprise, surprise. Wow. All right. So we're 1 0, four rounds left. I hope we get more graveyard decks. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw. I have no mana in our hand. We cannot keep this mulligan. All right, so I have mana this time. Keep bottom a ley line of the void, put a ley line of the void onto the table. One with the mulligan to four here. Come on, black, red, red animator, please. I hope this is the league where we just get five graveyard decks. Like sign me up. They, they wreck my day, day in and day out, and now we can just be the bane of their existence. Lay a line onto the table. <laughs> Please be reanimator. You're on four cards. Let's see it. And they're just passing. As one does, draw. Fetch. Basic Swamp and Thoughtseize. Incoming concession. Look at that. Turn one win. Boom. That's how we do. Board in this Doffy. I think I'm going to board in one Massacre just in case. Um, What to board out here? Probably the Pier. It's so hard boarding in the Dothies just because there's so many slots. Board out one Ilgan gains. Maybe one Duress. Let's try this. Not really sure what they're playing, but this gives us a little bit of everything. Game number two. We don't have a ley line. We've opened up double helm. I don't think that this is playable. We're going to have to mulligan. Uh, this seems fine. We'll keep this Lotus Petal on the bottom. No ley line, unfortunately, so they do get one turn unscathed. Lotus Petal, okay. Dark Ritual, and they are Reanimator. I should have mulliganed a ley line. Oh, they're oops! They're oops! I can't believe it! Okay. We will be going to a game three. They too have ley line of sanctity. Okay, we'll pick this one up. Back to back, oops. Wow. Okay. So we definitely want the surgicals. Let's get the massacre out of here. We'll board out of tendrils. Bring in the helm. Needles. Board out one of At 63. I think it's just board out the duresses again. Submit. Game three versus oops all spells. We're on the play. I don't think we're allowed to keep this mulligan. Yes, this hand is bananas. We will keep. Bottom a basic swamp. 
Okay, looks like the opponent has kept six cards as well. They do not have their ley line. Turn one thought sees. They were thinking about casting Force of Vigor and then decided against it. Interesting. I believe we just take the spy here. If they want to play turn one Cabal Therapy, good luck naming the right card. They play the Agadim. Incoming Cabal Therapy, what do you name here? I mean, we know what to name, but... They named it! Wow! They named Dothy Voidwalker! And they have the Force of Vigor! Okay, we have ourselves a battle here. Obviously not playing this Ley Line, not until they use their Force. Wow! That was a really impressive name off that Cabal Therapy. We might lose to Oops All Spells. All right, they do not play the force. We drew the fourth mana for the ley line. There's not much of a point for us to play this out, though, unfortunately. I should probably fetch the thin. It looks like the opponent's passing back to me here. Upkeep, let's fetch. Draw. Doesn't do much. If I play the Ley Line here, next turn I can maybe Infernal Tutor for Dothy, but then I'm just like accepting that they're going to blow me out of the water with Force of Vigor. I mean, they have to Force of Vigor here, right? It's like very, very free, and they do, pitching the other Force of Vigor. They have four cards. I could just be dead. Please don't murder me. Please do not murder me. Looks like they're passing. Come on, draw. Well, I'm not going to complain about this. They did pitch two Force of Vigors there. They could have another one. And they're passing. Six cards in hand. Dothy, whoa. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. But I guess we're getting an extra Dothy. It's fine. I just meant to play Dothy into Infernal Tutor, but I'll take this. And our opponent has conceded the game. Yes. Back to back wins versus Oops All Spells. Clearly, I played the perfect deck in Legacy. Deck is unstoppable. Let's see if we can get Oops All Spells three more times. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, match three run the draw. This hand doesn't really do anything meaningful, so we're going to mulligan this. This hand's pretty good. Keep. Bot on the Infernal Tutor. It's worth noting that Ilgain Gains gets a lot worse when you don't have a ley line of the void. So this hand isn't as good as some of the previous keeps we've had. They use a polluted delta. Oh no, of course we get paired against black red reanimator and I don't have the ley line. Come on. Sears Emissary Exhum. Uh, I feel like such a dummy. I should have mulliganed a ley line. I should have just known that we were going, it's nighttime magic. We're going to get paired against graveyard decks. Idiot. Thoughtseize. Now I have to take the Exhum too. Alright, so they have Dark Ritual plus Marsh Flats. I have to pass the turn. They play the Flats, they have Dark Ritual in hand, so they can flash back the Faithless Looting here. Thoughtseize. Okay. They correctly take Dark Ritual. I agree with that pick. Womp. We just have to pass here. Can't Infernal Tutor for a Dark Ritual. 
And I mean, getting another old Gangans doesn't actually help me. They find land three, so they can flashback looting here. And here it is. Lotus Petal Dark Ritual, one card left. Well, what is it? Is it a good one? Pass the turn. No. They drew one. That's a bummer. We're actually not dead to this, even if they named Sorcery. That said, we don't have a ley line of the void, so getting to the point where we can helm our opponent is incredibly difficult. We can, in theory, try to peer into ley line into helm. But in order to do that, I would have to draw a Cabal Ritual with my next draw step, and then Inferno Tutor for another copy of Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Ill-gotten gains, Infernal Tutor plus two Cabal Rituals, and hope that's enough mana. That's the line. They named Instant? What? Okay. And there's the Cabal Rit. Go get that uh, Cabal Ritual. I can still cast them, it's just that our opponent has protection from them. So they'll attack for six, and I'll go to nine. Red mana, flashback, faithless looting. This is bananas to me. Land and tomb. Draw for turn. Fetch down to eight life. Would I have had enough mana? That's something I'm genuinely curious about here. Ogon gains. We will return Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Infernal Tutor. Now we wait for our opponent. Okay, let's cast Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. And I would have had enough mana for Peer. So I can just grab Tutor Tendrils and that will get the job done. I mean, I kind of want to draw half my deck too. I guess there's no point in showing them the ley lines, though, right? Like, why bother giving them that information? Yeah, I guess I'll just do Tutor Tendrils. Okay. So we are going to win game number one. We would have beaten the Sarah's Emissary anyway, but I just didn't have to show them the ley line this time. Going to game two. We definitely want these surgicals, dothies. Probably want the helm, I'm not sure. We could even bring in Needle the name Gristlebrand. I don't know if that's actually worth it or not, but it's an option we have. Probably brought out the Peer into the Abyss. Duress is good here, so I don't actually want to take that out. I think we could probably shave Tendrils down to one copy. Maybe brought out couple copies of wish claw actually we can board out a couple old kind games we don't need that many let's bring back in claw three for 59 sure let's do three helm i guess all right hit submit can't believe i won that game this league would have been terrible for gps I mean, I want to keep this. I'm just not allowed to. Not playing meaningful magic for multiple turns against Reanimator? No. Yes. Uh, we can bottom one ley line and put this one into play. Burning Catacombs. That's right, you passed the turn. 19. Dark Ritual. Dothy Voidwalker. Pass. Scrubland, okay. They had the lay the answer to ley line, but I have this Dothy. Badlands, five cards in hand, looting. And they just immediately conceded the game. I love it. All right, three and oh. Can we face two more graveyard decks? Stick around and find out.
you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw. Our opponent, I've played them a number of times in the past, and they're usually on Delver decks. So here, this hand's actually pretty good against Delver, other than the fact that we have this Lay, or I'm sorry, Helm of Obedience that does nothing without Leyline of the Void. So I'm going to ship this. Much, much, much better. Keep bottom of the tendrils. I am looking to draw into a land. Blooded Strand, okay. Draw. You look at that. I think I'm just going to play the Swamp and pass. They're trying to represent something here. I don't know if it's a daze or maybe even, I don't know. Uh, Flooded Strand just passed. Seems a little fishy to me. Tundra, okay. I'm glad I didn't cast the Thoughtseize. They have seven cards in hand. Island. They're just passing. Draw. Okay. Let's fetch. We can Cabal Ritual into Thought Seize into Peer. Assuming that everything goes according to plan. Going to daze me? Horse of Will Pitching Ponder, you've got it. Sure. <laughs> wow. All right. We need to draw like a land or a dark ritual for turn. I guess Lotus Petal would also do. They cast a Ponder. They tanked for a long time before playing that Ponder. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm willing to bet that they have something like a Narset or a Hole Breacher. Something that they were considering playing for three. And, they and then they decided that Ponder would be better. Counterbalance. Wow. Okay, well I drew the land. Let's start off with this dime and see if we can get any info out of them. They shuffle on the ponder. They reveal the, another counterbalance. Thought sees you. They're just still like on un, unplayable miracles pile. Hmm. Kind of annoying. They can snapcast or brainstorm back something in response to the wish claw. And they're drawing a blue card for the Force of Will next turn. I think we just have to take the Force, play out the Diamonds. Your battle wasn't a one drop on top. This would be game over. So we know that they're drawing Counterbalance here. They played the Snapcaster, a little surprised by that. They're casting Brainstorm, likely putting a two back on top. Alright, Brainstorm is resolved and they pass the turn. Draw. Not a very good one. We're going to just pass. I could try to play the Wish Claw, but they likely put the Counterbalance back on top. Monastery Mentor. Ouch. Draw. Land. Wish Claw Talisman. Did you have a pair of twos? They did not. So I am able to cast Peer into the Abyss here. Or they could just draw a third force. That's fine. Not at all obnoxious. Okay. Prismatic ending on a Lion's Eye Diamond. So now they're down to one card in hand. Infernal Tutor or Wish Claw Talisman off the top will get the job done. We're going to take seven down to eight. So if I fetch, they just have lethal, so I shouldn't do that. Draw. Mm. Pass the turn. No point in playing out the helm and giving them extra info. And that's lethal. They got me. Triple force, double counterbalance draw. 
fine. What a bummer. Admittedly, we're probably a little bit weaker in this matchup than we should be. We have so much discard and stuff. I, I really built the sideboard not thinking about control that much, and maybe I should have spent a little bit more time on that. The try boarding in the Dothies. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Board down a couple copies of Ilgon Gains, that's for sure. So now we're down to 66. I don't think I'm supposed to board in Surgical. Let's take out the Ranafel. That's really a speed card in my mind. Shave a couple copies of Cabal Ritual. Maybe like a Lotus Petal. Okay, we're going to game number two. We are on the play. Nope. Is this good enough? One land is super awkward. I think I'm supposed to go to five here. Mulligan. Keep. Definitely getting rid of Lotus Petal. I think the other card just has to be the Lion's Eye Diamond. All right, Duress you. Unfortunate, I just didn't roll up with the turn one. Draw. Of course, I draw another Infernal Tutor. Ah, oh, no. That's brutal. The Void Walker. They play a Brainstorm. Blooded Strand. They do activate it. Into Ponder. Draw for turn. Let's get in there with the Dothy. Infernal Tutor. Reveal Cabal Ritual. That's the turn. Scalding Tarn. Two mana. Prismatic Ending. Yep. Five cards in hand. Draw. And another one. Pass. They're at 15 life now. I'm guessing this is the turn that <clears throat> where they play Mentor. Sanctuary getting back Prismatic Ending. That makes sense. They have Mentor into Ending. Or they're just going to do it now. Yep. Our Mold of 5 is not hanging too well. Pass the turn. Draw. So I have all the mana in the world, but I'd just be running headfirst into a force. Need to find a discard spell. They have another land. I'd be willing to bet they get rid of this volcanic island. Draw for turn. I think I'm just going to pass. Another land. They're flooding out a little bit here. Draw. Hmm. Pass the turn. Also, I'd love a Tendrils of Agony. Wish Claw Talisman. Might as well see if this resolves, right? And it does? Okay. Pass the turn. You have another ending. There's a mentor. And here's the ending. Bummer. Okay, they got me. They have four cards. I promise I can't be two counter spells and I haven't drawn a discard. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um let's fetch. Dark ritual. Lotus Petal. Infernal Tutor. Real are all my cabal rituals gone? What? 
Oh no. Major punt alert. Um Yikes. Okay. Um Yeah, that was bad. Ill gotten gains. A force will pitching hydroblast, okay. I guess it is a blue card. The downside is I'm dead to another counter spell here. If I need their hand to just be blank. Grab the tendrils. Do I get it? And they concede, yes! Okay. So even with my punch, forgetting about the cabal ritual, we still got it. All right, so what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to board down to one old guy gains. I don't think that's really an effect I want in this matchup. Surgical and their snap, like whatever, like Mystic Sanctuary deck is cute. I just don't know if it's better than anything else we have going on here. I'm just going to resubmit. Game three. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep this hand. It doesn't have a payoff, but it has pretty much everything else we're looking for here. And if I could draw a helm, we actually have a protected turn one helm win, which is pretty exciting. We have three helms in our deck. Come on, helm of obedience. Let's see it. Just a polluted delta. Sad. Swamp duress. Okay, we're taking this counterbalance. The rest of their hand just doesn't do much. Pass the turn. They boarded back in swords to plowshares. Flooded strand. We'll take a draw. Play out this delta. Pass. They use the strand. Ambush viper. They cast Brainstorm. Scalding Tarn. I'd be willing to bet they got rid of the mountain here. 17 life. Take a draw. Who needs payoff spells anyway? They did not fetch. That's a sign of strength, so they probably have a counter spell. They grab a Volcanic. Mentor. They fetched away the mountain. And they're holding the Snapcasters. I think they have a Force in hand. Not that it would matter because I don't draw cards with text on them. I'm in trouble. They play Tundra. Still four in hand. Okay, I'm at ten. Draw. Play the Voidwalker. I'm pretty sure they have the swords because they didn't fetch. So that tells me that they have the swords. But I mean, this does gain me three. They get a monk. Am I just dead? If they go sword, snapcaster, untap, surgical, am I dead? There's the snap. The surgical miteras. Now they're going to use surgical their own monk. So if I block a snapcaster, they trade. I can't trade with the mentor. I can trade with the monk, but is that really worth it? Oh, I can't block it as shadow. That's right. So I'm dead. That's just lethal. Good honest magic. That is correct. Okay, so I'm dead. The opponent outsmarted us. They knew that we couldn't block. Good, good on their part. We'll draw, and it's tendrils! Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Okay, so we are now 3-1, and one, which isn't bad. One round left to go. It's unfortunate this was not a true graveyard deck, despite the Snapcaster's Mystic Sanctuary.
With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final match. We're on the draw against a Yorian. And uh, here our hand doesn't actually do anything. We could maybe play Ogain Gains on the second turn, assuming we drew a Mana Source. We could buy time with these Thought Seizes, but there's not actually anything to do, so I'm going to ship this. Way too clunky. Uh, this, unfortunately, doesn't do anything. I guess so. Bottom Wish Claw. Bottom Lotus Petal. Oh, this is a four. Delightful. Um, I guess we have to get rid of the pier. Underground sea. So you're not death and taxes. Okay. So it's Asper Vile. It's going to be a tough matchup. Fetch. Thought sees you. It's Cephalid Breakfast. So it is a graveyard deck. Um, but we mulligan to four. I'm just going to concede and go to game two. We're not going to win this game. I'd rather just go to the next one. Bring in these surgicals. Gothies. Helm. I think we might even want the fatal pushes. I wonder if I just bored out of being a storm deck. Is that crazy? I feel like it might be a little bit insane. Can you imagine the year's 2022 and Bryant Cook is boarding out of being a storm deck? What is his blasphemy? We take out Infernal Tutors, Lion's Eye Diamond. I don't think I'm allowed to have Defense Grid Surgical. I could probably get rid of Ilgain gains. 58. So then maybe I board these back in. All right, we're doing it. We're just going to be the slow Leyline Helm deck. I'm sorry. I know that I've let a lot of you down right now, but I want to win. I want the 4-1. So this is what we're doing. Yes, I'd like to be on the play. No. Is this better? I think I'm like pressured into keeping this. Bottom the swamp. Let's stay Meyer. We'll fetch. Duress. Okay, pass the turn. Island into Vile. I would rather I would have rather have hit that with the than the ponder, but oh well. Take a draw step here. Wishclaw Talisman. Play it and pass. Marsh flats. The hideous planes. That's disgusting. The grabby cauldra complete. I think I'm gonna end up killing the stone forge. Let's uh, get this out of here. Did I board out the pier? I think I did. Yeah, I boarded out the pier like a real dummy. Okay. Just have to pass. Vile goes up to two. They play an underground sea, so I still know that they have a Misty in hand. They play the Recruiter. I grab another stone forge. Draw. Gothy, hello. And unfortunately, I don't have enough mana to win right now, so I have to pass. Now they can use this stone forge mystic. And they grab the Shuko. Ether Vile. They activate it. Baleful Strix, okay. 
They have five cards, and I know three of them. They play the Misty. Activate the Stoneforge, put the Cauldra into play. Play the Shuko. Yep. Two unknowns. No blocks, I'll take seven down to 12 life. Draw. And I think I just have to go for it here. Dark Ritual. Ball Ritual. Lotus Petal. Activate the Witch Claw Talisman. Grab Home of Obedience. He you wanted your deck mill them offering to do it for you. And they concede we did it. Yes, we're one game away from a 4-1. Let's get this. Come on. Who needs to be a storm deck anyway? Let's go. No, this hand is poop. We have to ship this. No lands. Down to five. Really? Um. Okay. Leyline of the Void. Let's hope that I draw like mono discard spells into Dark Ritual. Island Shuko, you got it. Draw. Pass the turn. Tundra. Stone Forge. They pick up a Cauldra complete. They have five cards in hand. We know that one of them is Cauldra. Draw. Another Wish Claw. I was really hoping for a discard spell there. Or even a Ritual. Like, I need mana here. Land number three. Well, you can't play Cauldra this way. Yep. So this is six and I'll go to twelve. They have four cards. Draw for turn. Another ley line. Push claw. Pass the turn. Need to draw like a dark ritual or a discard spell for turn. They have five cards. I don't believe a land does it. If I want to be protected, that is. If I want to go all in on protected, I can do that. But in order to be protected, I need to draw like Dark Ritual. Or a discard spell. Baleful Strix, sure thing. Fetch. Come on, Dark Ritual. There we go. So if I go activate Wish Claw... Get a discard spell. Ritual. I, I actually don't think I'm allowed to be protected here. So I activate Wish Claw, discard, dark ritual. And then if I get another dark ritual, I can't activate the helm. So even dark ritual as a draw step wasn't good enough. And I, I boarded out the... Reign of Filth, I think. No, I didn't. So Reign of Filth could get me to Threshold. Um, Reign of Filth is the same as a Dark Ritual here, actually, so that doesn't help. I guess it's, like, pretty free to just start on Dark Ritual and see if it resolves. So I can activate this, cast a Discard spell, go down to one mana. Am I wrong? I just want to look at my deck. Yeah, I'm just too choked on mana. Grab Dark Ritual. Helm of Obedience. They just conceded. Wow! We got the 4-1! Yes! How about that? Losing to like 2017 Miracles, but we got the 4-1 with our deck from like 2006. Oh, this was sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I don't know how good this deck actually is, but it was a blast to play tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those in the comment section. But wow, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.